Hi everybody. Today we're going to be discussing how to solve systems of linear equations versus linear inequalities both graphically and algebraically. First let's look at linear equations graphically. So the system of equations on the left hand side has to both be written in terms of y equals mx plus b also known as slope intercept form. Since the first equation is not written in slope intercept form, we have to subtract the 4 from both sides in order to get y equals 5x minus 4. Now let's begin graphing. For the first equation, our y-intercept is negative 4, so we are going to plot a point on negative 4 on the y-axis. Since the slope is 5, we are going to count 5 units up and move to the right 1 unit. Then we are going to continue doing this pattern until we create our line. Be sure to also label the line so that the viewer knows what you are talking about. Now let's graph our second equation. Since the y-intercept is positive 5, we're going to put a point on positive 5 on the y-axis. Similarly, the second equation has a slope of positive 5. So we are going to count 5 units up and 1 unit to the right. In order to go backwards, we're going to count 5 units down and 1 unit to the left. Then, once you have all of your points plotted, we are going to connect our line. Once again, please be sure to label your equations. This system of equations does not have a solution because the lines are parallel due to the fact that your slopes are the same. Now let's solve a system by substitution. In this case, you already have an equation that is equal to one variable. So we are going to substitute 5x plus 6 into the first equation where we see y. This becomes 4 plus the quantity of 5 plus 6 is equal to 5x. Here you can get rid of the parentheses and combine like terms to get 10 plus 5x equals 5x. Therefore, you are going to subtract 5x from both sides to get 10 does not equal 0. Since the equations are not equal to each other, this system of equations does not have a solution. Next, we're going to look at two lines and graph them. If you notice, the slopes are negative reciprocals, which means that these lines will actually be perpendicular. Since the first equation has a y-intercept of positive 1, we're going to go ahead and plot 1 on the graph. The slope is 3 over 2, so we are going to rise 3 and run 2. You are going to continue with this pattern and then connect your points. Our next equation has a y-intercept of negative 2. So we are going to put a point on negative 2 and it has a slope of negative 2 thirds. So we are going to go down 2 units and move to the right 3 units. Once again, we are going to continue with this pattern and connect our points. Where the lines intersect is known as our solution. In this case, your solution is going to be the point negative 1 and a half comma negative 1. This system of equations only has one solution because as stated before, your lines are perpendicular due to the fact that the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other and the lines only intersect at one point. Now we're going to look at an algebraic approach. Here we have two different equations, so one way we can go about solving this is to set both equations equal to y. For the second equation, we have negative 4x on the left-hand side. So in order to bring it to the other side, we must add 4x to both sides, so we get the equation negative 2y equals 4x plus 6. In order to get rid of the negative 2, we must divide both sides by negative 2, so we get the equation y equals negative 2x minus 3. If you notice, both equations are exactly the same, therefore this system will have infinitely many solutions due to the fact that they will intersect at every single point. Next we will be discussing how to solve a system through elimination. In this case, you will have to multiply one of your equations in order to cancel out a variable. So here it would be best to multiply the first equation by a factor of positive 2 in order to get 2y is equal to 3x plus 10. When we set up our equations and add them together, our variables x will cancel, leaving us with 3y is equal to 3. Then when we solve for y, we get y is equal to 3. 
In order to finish solving for the system, we must then take the y value of 3 and substitute it into one of our original equations. In this case, I will choose the second equation of y equals negative 3x minus 7. I will then substitute the 3 in for y, add 7 to both sides to get 10 is equal to negative 3x, and then divide by negative 3 in order to get negative 10 thirds as my x value. Therefore, the solution to this system of equations is going to be negative 10 thirds comma 3. Stay tuned for the next video to see how to solve systems of linear inequalities.